G'day folks, how are you going? Glenn Grantham, General Manager of Rain and Horn in Darwin. Coming to you to give you an update on what is going on in the Darwin market right at this moment, especially uh, obviously concentrating on residential sales. 30th of June, big date for, uh, for the uh, purchases within the Darwin market or for uh, a large amount of those, which are the first home buyers. The uh, government and in their infinite wisdom have decided to remove the initiatives and incentives around um, stamp duty rebate. In some cases that's up to around about twenty thousand dollars that uh, the uh, purchases are no longer uh, you know or now will have to pay in relation to purchasing a new property up to six hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars represents around about forty five percent of the market over the last twelve months in Darwin. So it will be interesting to see what the impact of that is on the Darwin market. I feel as though uh, it won't obviously lock the purchases out of the market, but what it will do is uh, in some cases delay their decision because obviously the, uh, the rental um, pressures that are happening in our market at the moment are certainly still incentivising first home buyers to enter that market and uh, avoid having to pay uh, rents that in some cases have increased up to uh, up to 20 25 percent from where they were 12 months ago um, basically 100 150 dollars a week on anything under uh, 500 dollars per week is uh, is roughly what uh, what renters are currently paying extra what that'll mean, uh, we've got a lot of good infrastructure projects um, pushing our market along, as well as uh, some projects, uh, gas, but in particular, the Santos project exploring the Barossa Basin, uh, where their logistical team are aiming to uh, start to move to Darwin and be on site in July, and ramping forward with the construction phase around that. Vastly different uh, sort of um, project to that that we experienced with uh, ICTHIS, in as much as uh, Santos being a Australian company have uh, looked and said they're going to concentrate on local workers to, uh, to service what they require in regard to their employment uh, needs. So that will be very good, hopefully a bit more population growth. The population growth uh, I would still estimate is, uh, is upward of 5,000 people since the commencement of COVID restrictions back in around about uh, March last year. Uh, could be as high as 10,000 people, and that's certainly what we've seen in the take-up of, uh, of sales around, uh, around Darwin. So what I see for the next 6 to 12 months, uh, there's a lot more interest coming into our market. In fact, there is interest coming into our market with, uh, with investors off of the East Coast. Uh, this is obviously due to the yields that uh, we're delivering in the marketplace as those rental prices have increased. And in some situations, patchy little parts where there are still properties that have not experienced that growth in median house price. Uh, and what that is, is apartments, uh, older uh, properties that need uh, renovation, etc. Uh, they're the ones that uh, you can still pick up a bargain and still pick up great yields in excess of around about 6%. So that investor interest is there. Obviously, Darwin is offering up something that the rest of uh, rest of Australia is struggling to be able to uh, to offer to as an investment return. We think that will probably continue to push our market forward. We started from a very low base. We're showing the largest growth across Australia on a percentage wise in, in relation to not only volumes, but also in relation to uh, median house prices. Despite the fact that we haven't got 40 or 50 people turning up at every home open, it is still patchy. However, uh, however, Darwin certainly has reason to be uh, bullish in regard to their future. Certainly the next six to 12 months, if I could look into my crystal ball, if it's not cracked, if everything continues to go this way, I would suggest that we're going to see another six to 12 months before we actually even get close to hitting the peak in Darwin for median house price. Gives you a pretty good idea of what's going on. Hopefully, if I'm right, anyway, I'll come back to you and let you know whether I got it right in about six months' time. Have a good one. Thanks for listening.